I'm uh, Jerry Lundegaard. All right, everybody. I think I got a little fix for the Mavic Mini using the uh, DJI Assistant 2 for the Mavic. Now, you have to use that one, the DJI Assistant for the Mavic, okay, or the Mavic 2. Um, yeah, that's the one you have to use, not the one for the Phantom or the Inspire or anything like that. Uh, so I did it at the coaxing of Bill Thomas from Coax to Coax Drones because I actually wasn't going to do this until uh, DJI put a statement out or something because, you know, there's so many thousands of people I'm seeing that this issue popped up. So they're all going to have to wind up doing this. So you just use the uh, DJI Assistant and you just refresh the firmware. You don't roll it back. You just refresh the current firmware that you put on there, which I really didn't want to roll it back because I found out that rolling back firmwares, a lot of times it doesn't, it doesn't even work. Uh, excuse me, I'm making a T over here. But, uh, yeah, so it just refreshes the firmware. And from what Bill said, you don't have to do the controller. I did also refresh the controller, even though it didn't go to 100%. It only went to 99% and hung up. And I wound up just pulling the plug on there and restarting it. And it, it was fine. The controller works fine, no problem. So, um, yeah, that's all you have to do. So I'm going to throw it up here on the screen to let you see how it works and what you have to do. And then we're going to do a little test. Now, it's just an indoor test because it's raining, but, you know, it's a test. And I um, I roll the quadcopter pretty hard in the sport mode. They would, if, those, if those problems were going to pop up, they probably, most likely they would have popped up. All right? All right, guys, so just stay tuned for that. All right, good luck to you. <laughs> That was a screaming brat across the hall. That kid does nothing but cry 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I never heard a kid scream as much as that little monster, okay? That was what you was hearing in there. Okay, bye. Update the Mavic Mini <clears throat> with the uh, DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. So we're going to click on the Mini. It says refresh okay let's do that <clears throat> I guess we're doing a refresh of the maybe there was something they didn't do on the uh, on the one they when they did it online over the phone maybe they left out something who knows Okay, it already powered down by itself. So now we're going to do the controller.
Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do a refresh on the controller. Now I'm doing all this in real time. I'm not editing it out or anything like that. So you can see how long it's really going to take you. I was going to wait to do this to hear from DJI, but I decided after Bill said it, Bill Thomas from Coast to Coast said it would, uh, it worked for him, so I figured I'd just give it a shot. Yeah. So let me try restarting it. Shutting it off. Now it'll probably do that interminable beeping that Ron Browns did. Okay, everybody, I did a refresh on the firmware for the Mavic Mini, so we're going to try it out here and see if it does anything. Now, I can only try it inside because it's pouring today, but at least I can take it off here in the, the house here and let it run for a few minutes to see if it's going to act up at all. So, all you do is use the uh, DJI Assistant 2 for, uh, for Mavic. So we're going to try to take it off to see if that uh, noise comes back. Let me um let me put the screen recorder on cuz I didn't do that yet. It's back. It's back so you'll be able to see a uh, thing come up on the screen recording so I'll put that in there. Okay. Let's just take off in here. Okay, well, I think I tortured the motors there pretty good. <clears throat> but we're going to let it go for a few minutes to see if it does anything, so. Okay, my guess is it's going to be okay.
All right, guys, my guess is it's going to be okay now. That's my guess. So we'll see, though, right, when we get it outside. But I kind of tortured it pretty good doing them little those little rolls back and forth that kind of strains the motors pretty hot and heavy there so yeah all right i think it's going to be okay all right guys i'll talk to you later have a nice day